Hi, I'm Jake from Associated Environmental Systems. In this video, we are going to demonstrate the differences between the water demineralizer system and the water recycling system. For today's demonstration, we will be using the Associated Environmental Systems LH10 Economy Line Humidity Chamber. Before we get into the differences between the water demineralizer system and the water recycling system, let's discuss the water required by all AES humidity chambers. Humidity chambers require water to produce humidity. Using the correct water is very important. AES humidity chambers are designed to operate using demineralized or single distilled water. If the water is too hard, minerals will build up in the steam generator and destroy the components of the chamber used to create humidity. If the water is too pure, laboratory DI water for example, the water will start to corrode the metals it comes in contact with. Most city water is too hard to be used with AES humidity chambers. AES offers two different options to remedy this issue the water demineralizer system, and the water recycling system. First, let's look at the water demineralizer system. The water demineralizer system is an easy solution for filtering city water. Chambers using the water demineralizer system are stationary and plumb directly into the site's water source using their own drainage. The water demineralizer system consists of the demineralizer bracket, the deionizer filter, and the polytube water connections. The demineralizer bracket is factory mounted to the exterior of the chamber and allows for easy filter installation. The deionizer filter sits inside the bracket and is held in place by an upper pressure fitting and a lower receiving block. The demineralizer system must be plumbed into its own water source and regulated to 30 psi. During operation, city water passes through the filter and is cleaned on its way to the steam generator. The steam condenses in the chamber and is then drained here, in the back of the chamber. Polytubing can be used to direct water to a designated drain area, such as a lab sink or floor drain. Now let's look at the water recycling system. The water recycling system has three main components. The six gallon water storage tank, the water recirculation pump, and the water demineralizer system. The water storage tank is filled with six gallons of single distilled water. The water flows from the reservoir directly into the steam generator. The steam condenses in the chamber and is drained into the water recirculation pump. The pump then forces water back through the demineralizer system where it is cleaned to remove test contaminants. The filtered water is returned back into the water reservoir to be reused in the steam generation process. The water recycling system is a closed circuit and requires no plumbing or drainage setup. The benefits of this system include the ability to work with limited or no water accessibility and the ability to move the chamber into different test areas, sharing the unit with multiple labs. This can help to save your company money. I hope you found this video helpful, but if you have any further questions regarding the water recycling system or the water demineralizer system, feel free to contact AAS at any time. I'm Jake, and thanks for watching.